Hi, welcome. It's so good to have you here. You know what? Today, we are playing with Legos. They are some of my favorite toys. How about you? Now, you're going to need to have some Legos in front of you to build while we talk about this. So, if you have Legos at home, go and grab them. I'll wait. Great. Got some Legos in front of you and you're ready to build? Okay. Now, before we build, let's talk a little bit about the history of Lego. Way back in 1891, old Kurt Christensen was born. Later in his life as a carpenter in 1932, Ole made wooden toys and started a company called the Lego Company. Lego is from two Danish words, leg and got, which means play well. And play kids did with Lego toys. In 1955, Ole's son Gottfried invented the Lego system, bricks that connected together and the more blocks you collected, the more you could build. Over the years, Lego made many sets with instructions, and yet it all started with that basic interlocking brick. Well, now that we know where Lego came from, it will help us a little bit going forward. So let's begin to build. Got your Legos, and as we begin to build, let's take a look at our special verse from our Bible. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. There was evening and there was morning. It was day six. Now imagine with me. The very beginning, the earth was formless and dark and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. You know, I kind of imagine the formless world like a pile of Lego bricks. They have no form. It's just a pile of bricks with all different pegs. But then you begin to create. What was once a formless pile now starts to become something as you create. Maybe a flower or an ice rink or a full model of Sesame Street. Now, Think of God at the beginning in that formless space, and then he begins to create light, he says, and there's light, then water, then trees and plants, then animals of all shapes, sizes, and colors. And some of the animals, well, they look strong and mighty like a lion, and others, well, they look a bit funny, kind of like a turkey. And what does God say about all his creation? It is good. And as our shapeless pile of bricks becomes a wonderful structure, we too say it is good. We are pleased and happy with what we have created. Now back to the beginning. God had made everything from the plants and animals and the sky and water, but he created his best creation last, humans. You see, God made a man named Adam from dust, and he gave him a partner, Eve, who was made from one of Adam's ribs. And God looks at those two people that he made, and he says... It is very good. Imagine the joy that filled the air with those words. It is very good. It's like the feeling you have when you click those last few bricks in place and make the structure you have set out to create. Ah, it's very good. It worked. After we've created something with Lego, we want to share it and take care of it. Maybe we want to bring it to school so we can show our friends. Or maybe we want to put it on a shelf somewhere special. Or even some people will put their special Lego creations in a glass case for display. And when God created the universe, 
He said to Adam and Eve to take care of it. Now, over the next little while, over the next few weeks, we're going to talk more about what it means to be a co-creator with God. We're going to talk about what happens when what we build doesn't turn out. And we'll talk about what a rebuilding project would look like. But for now, let's today remember the joy in creation. The joy that filled the newly created earth long ago when God said, It is very good. And remember, that same joy, that same joy from the beginning when God said it was very good, lives in our hearts. How? Through Jesus and through the Holy Spirit. So we can remember that this week as we see how Legos connects to God's grand story. It's a building challenge! Now, I'm sure you have your Legos in front of you as you've had this whole time and maybe you've been creating different things, but I have a building challenge for you. Are you ready? Here's what you're gonna do. With your Legos in front of you, you need to build something without instructions. You see, some of these things like this ice rink or the Sesame Street set, they came with instructions on how to exactly build it. What I want you to do is to take your shapeless, formless pile of Legos and to build something completely new without instructions. And then when you're done, give your creation a name. And it can be any name. Then, snap a picture of your creation and you can have a grown-up help you send that picture to me. And next week, when we get together again, we'll feature some of your amazing creations. So, dive into those Legos. Let's get creating together. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hey kids, thanks for watching the video. We hope you liked it. Click here for more videos, or subscribe here. See you next week.